The world's richest 1% have more money than the rest of us combined. The figure released by Oxfam ahead of the world's elite gathering in Davos, Switzerland, further shows that just 62 people have as much wealth as the poorest half of the global population. The charity says it wants to highlight growing income inequality. The bank balance of those 62 people has risen by an astonishing $542 billion, or 44% over the past five years, while the bottom half saw a 41% drop in wealth. The findings went viral, with pretty much every news organization picking it up, but the Financial Times questions the figures. In its report, the FT says Oxfam used Credit Suisse's measures of net worth as a basis for its findings, and according to that metric, if you own a house in London, you would be considered part of the world's exclusive 1% club. In other words, the data measures net assets and not actual standard of living. Other issues with Oxfam's report included the fact that the data relied on domestic estimates of wealth via market exchange rates, rather than purchasing power parity rates. In other words, the strong dollar wasn't accounted for and that it spliced together numbers of the world's riches from Forbes. Those numbers, according to the FT, are simply designed to sell magazines. <laughs>